I just shipped the battery that I gave away to uh, Tom in uh, Texas and I thought well my van is a little bit lighter but then ugh, I went to Whole Foods ugh, I got a I got a couple snackies <laughs> you might be thinking how the heck am I gonna put all this food in the van well some is going in the van some is some is going in my tummy which technically is still is still in the van but hi if you like my videos please click the bell so you can be notified and come back often because I have new videos every week just watch the previous video or the previous previous video and you'll see how I get rid of that stuff that's that's in the uh... right now I'm going to have dinner but I want to try one of these figs because I love figs and I want to see how with how this one tastes I don't know if it tastes good but I'm gonna try oh Oh, mmm, mmm. Did you ever hear me tell you, or or say? Because if if you never heard me say it, then you didn't hear me tell you. <laughs> but you know, did you ever hear me say about the fig tree that my grandfather had? Yeah, he had a huge fig tree. The figs were not this color; they were like greenish, but they were like the size of a fist. They were huge figs. And I remember climbing that tree and grabbing those figs and you open them up when they were nice and ripe. And you eat that fig. Oh, they were so delicious. This fig reminds me of that, even though it's a different different species. But then my grandfather also had like a spring that came from under the ground. That's where usual springs comes from anyway. And then after having a, a nice belly full of figs, I would go in there and get some, that nice fresh spring water. Oh, I just cannot put these figs down. Mmm, you've seen me eat enough figs. I got three left. I might go back inside the store and buy some more. But what I'm gonna eat right now is a salad. I'm gonna have some of this, some cheese, fresh mozzarella cheese. I'm going to put some uh, tomatoes in there, blackberries, blueberries, don't fall, raspberries, and a mango. And a mango on a pear tree. Oh, and I got a. I got a watermelon. Here's my beautiful... There's a dog over here. Is there a dog over there? Wow, that's a huge dog. That's Liddy. So here's my, my Liddy. Liddy, I'm doing a high production over here. There's my, uh, my Louis salad. I almost didn't have room for the cheese. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. You tell me this is not healthy? This is, this is healthy. This is like... It's like three pounds of healthiness. I'm going to be like this. I probably won't be able to fit in here, but I'll probably manage. Liddy's looking at me funny. I should go, so uh, see you later. Yes, Liddy, I'll, all my attention is, is towards you now. Dinner was, oh, so delicious. That thing, it just, oh. But it's healthy stuff. All that stuff was like... Uh, healthy. I don't have another word for it. it. It's healthy. Good stuff. And talk to Liddy for a little bit. Now I'm going to watch a movie right here. I have everything, folks. What else do you need? This is my home on wheels. I got everything I need in here. Watching a movie, I'm going to use my, my Bose headphones. This way I can have this not too loud because I don't I don't like too loud the noise in my ears you know that's not good for you anyway 
but it can be loud enough and I can hear it and inside the van it's you hear that okay maybe you hear the outside but it's silent nobody can hear anything so that's what I'm gonna do now and um, that's pretty much it it's pretty much it for the day and my Saturday just went like this tomorrow is another day and tomorrow tomorrow I got a lot of stuff going on tomorrow I gotta go get shrimp at Costco I gotta eat shrimp from Costco I gotta try try to find room in my refrigerators to store the extra shrimp from Costco oh that shrimp is so good it's so good I'm like if they were open right now, I would be going to Costco and get some shrimp. But I, I'm full, so I can't eat anymore. I, I'm good for today. But tomorrow is going to be shrimp day. And then Monday, it's going to be shrimp night or shrimp evening. Shrimp evening. That's like a, sounds like a Italian shrimpini. Folks, if, if you are thinking of living in a van and, and you're like, how do I live in a van? How do I do that? How do I have the comforts of my house or the, or the apartment if you live in an apartment? How do I bring all those comforts into a van the size of mine, for example? Well, I have those comforts, you know, except for when it's really hot. Then it's a little bit uncomfortable. Always interrupting high production. But for the most part, like today, Today it's going to be in the 60s. Actually, this morning when I woke up, and I woke up because I was just cold in the middle of the night. I was like shivering. It was like 65, 63 degrees, 63. I looked at my thermometer over there, and it was 63 degrees. And then I like, ooh, so I pulled my cover over me. And, like, and then when I woke up in the morning, you know, it was a little bit warmer, so I took it out. So you, you can have lots of comforts in a van. TV, if you like to watch TV, as long as you have power, you can run this thing all day and all night. Refrigerators for food, you can have nice meals in here. Take a shower like I do. Use the toilet. Go down a couple of videos. I'll show you how to... Yeah, just could do a couple of videos. That's interesting. And, uh, yeah, I mean, what else do you need? And I'm parked here, and I'm not paying anything, no rent, nothing. Just living free down by the river. <laughs> well, it's not by the river today, but sometimes it is by the river. So, hey, folks, if I can do it, if I can, if I can do this for five years, then you can do it too. You, I'm not more special than you are. So... The only issue is that some people are more sensitive to cold or to heat. And if you are sensitive to heat, then you may need an air conditioner or this is not for you. If you are sensitive to cold, then you need a heater. I have a heater. Uh, the thing is, over here in the winter, I'm, I, sometimes I run out of power. Most times I run out of power. But I don't stay over here in the winter, so I just... I go down to Florida or like this year thinking of going out west folks so you can live in a van but you don't have to rough it you can you can unrough it and be nice and comfortable <laughs> but more about that next time I'm gonna watch the movie but the Lord was pleased to crush him putting him to grief if he would render himself as a guilt offering, he will see his offspring. He will prolong his days, and the good pleasure of the Lord will prosper in his hand. Isaiah 53, 10.